China is also exporting more of its beers abroad. Official figures show exports rose 37% in the last five years to 265 million litres in 2015. Well, Tsingtao beer has long been one of China's flagship brews, and now its popularity has spread to South Korea. Sales there are surging thanks in part to growing popularity of Chinese-style lamb skewers. CCTV's Eugene Jung reports from Seoul. From China's east coast and across the Yellow Sea, Qingdao beer has come a long way since it first landed in the South Korean market 16 years ago. Sales by the country's leading supermarket chain showed Qingdao is now the top seller among imported brews, frothing ahead of rivals including Heineken, Ho Garden, and Asahi in the first quarter of 2016. We've seen a boost in sales because there have been more Chinese tourists and as more South Koreans dine at lamb skewer restaurants, they get to know Qingdao there. This entire street in Seoul has lamb skewer restaurants on both sides, from this end to that end. And restaurants that serve the style of Chinese-style lamb have sprouted all over Seoul over the past few years. And it would appear that when South Koreans eat Chinese, they like to drink Chinese too. Lamb isn't traditionally favored by South Koreans because of its distinct smell and strong taste. But restaurants have been modifying the meat to suit South Koreans' taste buds, serving it cube-shaped on barbecued skewers. It's proven popular and become inseparable with Chinese beer, especially Qingdao. I think lamb skewers and Qingdao go well together, just like kimchi and instant noodles. And I think many people eat them together to have the true Chinese experience. I think lamb skewers and Qingdao are a perfect match. Qingdao has a jasmine fragrance, so that scent of jasmine and lamb go really well together, which is why I think South Koreans really enjoy it. South Koreans have the reputation of being Asia's most enthusiastic beer drinkers, and sales of foreign beer surged 43 percent last year. Thirst for Chinese beer in particular appears to be growing. Figures from South Korea's agro-fisheries and food trade cooperation show beer imports from China rose by more than 70 percent year-on-year in 2015. Still, Japanese and German beer rank higher in total volume of imports. But with distributors looking to capitalize on the growing popularity of Chinese brands, it could be just a matter of time before they surge ahead of the competition. Eugene Jung for CCTV, Seoul.